The usage of weapons can be tracked to as early as 300,000 years ago. Stone and wood were the primary hunting weapons during early ages. Weaponry is vast in range, not limited to stones, spears, guns, missiles, tanks, and biological weapons. While there are millions of weapons around, the revolver, being simple in operation, is used for a variety of purposes for law enforcement, security, sports, and hunting. Have you ever wondered how a revolver works? Let me explain the working of the revolver. The very basic purpose of a revolver is to send the bullet out at a defined velocity. That is done by a mini controlled explosion inside. Different parts of the revolver support in completing this fine task. Revolver is essentially made of a revolving cylinder, barrel, hammer, trigger, ratchet, pulse and a bullet cartridge. The propellant is stored inside the bullet cartridge and is surrounded by percussion cap, casing and a projectile. The explosion occurs inside the bullet cartridge which increases the pressure and volume. This rise in pressure and volume drives the bullet through the barrel. The hammer provides a mechanical force to initiate combustion. The hammer is cocked by pulling it back. Cocked hammer in a single action revolver will be ready to fire upon the pull of the trigger. Spring or coil assisted forward movement of the hammer hits the primer of the bullet cartridge through a firing pin. The firing pin is not shown here. The primer is made of shock sensitive chemicals and usually of different material than the propellant. When it is struck by the hammer, the primer reacts chemically and produces heat to ignite the propellant and initiate combustion. The cylinder has several chambers called firearm compartments, usually 5 to 6, to load the cartridges. The cylinder is indexed mechanically to align the cartridge with the firing pin. During cocking of the hammer, the cylinder is rotated and locked by the pawl below, using a small depression in the cylinder. After all the bullets are fired, the cylinder is filled with live cartridges. The barrel is designed to stabilize the movement of the bullet during its trajectory. The stabilization of the bullet trajectory is done by internal grooves of barrel that spin the bullet. The length of the barrel decides the exit velocity or muzzle velocity of the bullet. The longer the bullet stays inside the barrel during its movement, the higher its muzzle velocity due to the longer period of acceleration of the bullet. Higher muzzle velocity increases the range of the bullet and the intensity of its impact on the target. Two types of revolvers exist, namely single and double action revolvers. In single action revolver, the hammer has to be pulled each time to cock it. Double action revolver combines the movement of hammer and its strike on the primer by single pull of the trigger. The hammer need not be cocked in double action revolvers. To summarize, the revolver works by having a mini controlled explosion of propellant triggered by hammer strike and further acceleration of the bullet through the barrel. Do you know these interesting facts? The name revolver is used because of the revolving cylinder. Revolver is usually designed to be fired using one hand, which fetches its name handgun. 182 years ago, that is the year 1836, marks the pattern of revolving gun by Samuel Colt of United States of America. Samuel Colt got the idea for the revolver design while at sea watching a capstan which has a ratchet and pawl mechanism. If a bullet travels at 700 feet per second, it moves nearly 17 times as fast as the fastest man, Usain Bolt. 